The Seminoles believe they're as good as anyone. Tonight, they try to convince the nation. Tonight, over 72,000 have come to williams Bryce Stadium to welcome home the Gamecocks as South Carolina faces its biggest test against Florida State. Let's talk about the Gamecocks defensively, Kevin. What surprises does Joe Lee Dunn and company have in store for us tonight? I don't know. If you're a defensive football player, you have to love playing for Joe Lee Dunn, the defensive coordinator of South Carolina. Pressure defense. They run around all night. They'll come after you. So what do they do last week against North Carolina State? They never play zone. They come out in the zone. And not only did they confuse North Carolina State and win the game, but Florida State sitting home watching the ball game, getting ready, saw a zone, and now they don't know what to do. They've had to change their game plan. And this is not the kind of defense you want to go after with anything less than your best people. Well, that's right, Bobby. It's because of the pressure. They make you make quick decisions. You need experience, especially at that quarterback position. He's got to be a guy who can recognize blitzes and make that quick decision, and they've got a problem there tonight. That's because Chip Ferguson is on the bench with a separated shoulder. So what about Peter Tom Willis? <laughs> what, what about Peter Tom Willis? Peter Tom Willis is the question mark. He's only thrown 47 passes all year. He needs to have success early in this game. If he completes a few early, they get that offense rolling, and Florida State's going to be tough. If he has a problem, it could be a disaster. With Ferguson injured, they go with junior Peter Tom Willis at quarterback. They got six on first down. Willis with time. Long to the end zone, and a score to Terry Anthony. 44 yards, and the visiting team takes the lead two and a half minutes in. Strikes with a big play of 44 yards. Well, it's a big play defense. We talked about it. He gets enough protection. Watch Willis. He's going to get hit after he throws it. But Terry Anthony, who had 24 catches coming in against that man-to-man -man coverage, he beats the Payne Williams, and it was all over. And we talked about how the early part of the game would be so important to the confidence of Peter Tom Willis. He just threw his fourth touchdown pass of the year, and it's 7-0 Seminoles, as the crowd for the moment in Columbia is very shocked. And 15 on the year and 10 in his last four games. On the run, Peter Tom Willis delivering it to Ronald Lewis. Could see action coming back from injury here tonight. Second and 10. Peter Tom Willis with time and Ronald Lewis, a yard and a half beyond the first down marker, gathers it in. Robert Robinson on the coverage, but not a whole lot he could do. And we're seeing the strength of the arm of this young man that Bobby Bowden crowed about yesterday. Yeah, they talked about it might be a factor. His arm is actually a little stronger than Ferguson. He pulls up. This is a great catch by Lewis. They said that gun arm might help him. It helped him right there because the coverage was there. They will take Carter and Parker some. We may see Sammy Smith at tailback tonight as well. A slant in pattern across the middle, and Terry Anthony has it. Anthony, a six-foot junior out of Daytona Beach, averaging 16 yards a catch. And Peter Tom Willis has it right on the mark. Very well-designed play. Short drop. They've used motion to pull the safety out of there, and then a quick slant to the receiver. Watch. They pull the safety the other way. You have a wide open slant there, and Peter Tom delivered the ball. On the move with a two touchdown lead already. Motion man is Lawrence Darcy. And it's out to the left side. Dane Williams, the fullback, catching the football. Out of bounds inside the five. And then goal at the two. A fake to the fullback. Rolling is Willis, and a touchdown pass. Easily executed for number 83. That's the tight end, Dave Roberts. For 
Well, this is what makes him so tough. I just told you, they like to run to the strength. So what do they do? They send everybody that way. Play action. It's a naked reverse waggle, whatever you want to call it, and then a wide open receiver. Very tough play against a strong offensive line. Defensively, you've got to honor the run. Seconds into the second quarter. It's Peter Tom Willis completing a touchdown pass for the second time tonight. This one a little bit shorter, but it's 21-0. Timeout has been called by the Seminoles. So the clock stops with 11.42 second quarter. 21-0 in favor of the visitors. And Chris Fowler, they came in here confident tonight, didn't they? They did, but there's some stunned folks right now and some black jerseys on the South Carolina sideline. This just doesn't happen to them in Williams White Stadium. We've talked about the fact that they've won 13 games in a row here at Florida State, the last team to beat them. Now they're just kind of walking around with a glassy look in their eye, trying to pump each other up, talking about regrouping, but this is unheard of for most of these players, guys. Peter Tom Willis firing successfully six straight times of 38. Quarterback still with it. Peter Tom Willis out left side. Sliding catch. Terry Anthony. Peter Tom Willis once more. Rifles it ahead. The ball is over the 35 to Bruce Lassane with eight seconds remaining. They want to unload it and get it out of bounds and get a field goal try. And that's what they do. Peter Tom Willis, he thought he might be nervous coming in. So what do you do? You throw deep his first pass and he responds with a touchdown. Yeah, that took all the nervousness out on his second play of the game. Probably the greatest thing that could have happened to him uh, and onto that situation. Okay, thanks very much, Coach. Back up, Sarah, Bob. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. And back upstairs with Kevin Kiley, I'm Bob Carpenter. And again, I ask, what about Peter Tom Willis? <laughs> How about Peter Tom Willis? Well, I, you got to give Florida State's offensive people a lot of credit for calling this play and letting Peter Tom air it out here. You know, game is in, in, is in doubt. There's no score at the point. Second play of the game, and they let him throw it. And, of course, that pressure defense, you live and die with it. Here they died with it. Willis was right on right on the numbers there all the way down and they did a great job and they've done a great job really blocking for him here he had people in his face but he stood right in there and threw the ball and I think one of the keys to the game was how would he respond Bobby he has responded and responded and responded out to the left side that is Lawrence Dawsey a 6-1 sophomore out of Dothan Alabama third down and four Peter Tom Willis with a little touch pass out to the left side for Lawrence Dawsey. Dawsey came in with nine catches. He's been a busy man lately. Right outside linebacker David Taylor in on the stop. Some more rough stuff over on the sidelines. I think what you said, Bobby, here is the key. You're looking at the release time here. It's a short drop and then the touch. He's got defender in his face and he lays the ball over. Peter Tom Willis, we talked about him in the open, how he would respond. He has responded continually. He's done a great job tonight. They should be proud of him down there. And Lawrence Dawsey in as receivers. They're looking across the middle, and Dawsey is into the end zone. Lawrence Dawsey slanting in for a 13-yard touchdown reception, and it'll go to 37-0. And who the ever the coaches are who vote in the UPI poll and a lot of coaches watch these Saturday night games Kevin they've got to be very impressed with FSU right now but right, impressed uh, impressed and with a backup quarterback now Peter Tom Willis thrown 47 passes coming into this game there was major concern by the people at uh, Florida State of whether or not he could do the job and he has done it Richie Andrews now 42 for 42, 5 for 5 tonight. It's 38 nothing. Well, they use motion outside, and then Willis again with all that pressure. A perfect pass to Dawson. Now, Dawson, he's going to come in on a quick post. And the ball delivered perfectly. Nice timing Mark. pattern to the 6-1 sophomore. 38 nothing. the Seminoles. Yeah, they're on the road. Floyd is the fullback. Parker behind him. Unloading it. And even when they are under pressure, it turns into a beautiful play. Bruce Lassane with the diving catch. Well, this is excellent defense by the Gamecocks. They're going to get pressure on Peter Tom at the corner. That's Taylor. He throws it up for grabs, but it just happens to hit over Rabune's head and in front of the cornerback. 
Here's Taylor. This is the closest thing they've gotten to pressure, and this is a pressure defense all night. Everybody coming, and the ball just falls in and is caught by Lassane. An excellent, uh, excellent something. I guess it was excellent defense and a, and a good catch by Lassane. Yes, it was. <laughs> First down, deep, deep drop, and they screen it right side for Reggie Johnson. And flags fly as Johnson tumbles over the 45. West Virginia had 170. Out to the left side, and that's Scott DeMario, wide receiver. And he's out over the 40-yard line. DeMario, a six-foot junior, DeMario. out of Miami doesn't even show up on the depth chart but when it's 38 nothing lots of people start showing up well you give this one again to Willis he's going to get pressure the Moria comes clean right way see Rabune trying to get over there but it was Willis that read it he got pressure immediately got the ball out in a hurry and he was open Patrick Blackwell coming up to make the hit Peter Tom Willis look at that 15 of 18 he's hitting five of every six and there's Bruce Lassane, who on the crisscross a moment ago cut inside. He makes the catch this time. <laughs> I don't know. What do you do against that? <laughs> First and 10 at the 37. All the time he needs. High toward the end zone. And holding on for the score is Lawrence Dawsey. A flag lays at the three-yard line, probably on the defense anyway. And Dawsey puts it away. 37 yards on the touchdown throw. You have got to get to the quarterback. And here's Taylor. They're coming with a full blitz. Ayanata's got him. That leaves Willis time to float the ball. Look at the time he has in there. All right, here you are from the end zone, the back of the thing. And Willis just standing there, and he's going to flush thing is an ugly pass. It's a helicopter all the way. And that catch, that's just an incredible catch. Pass interference, touchdown. 45 0. Seminoles are rolling. Some of the Gamecocks don't even have their shoulder pads on anymore. Peter Tom Willis getting a little uh, oh, congratulations and encouragement from the coaches upstairs. They're saying, now here's how we're going to score next time. A lot of yards passing for Florida State. Seminoles have not kicked the football except a lot of kickoffs and extra points and one field goal here tonight. There's Peter Tom Willis. What a night for him, Kev. Unbelievable. 17 of 20. He was a key. Let's talk about our Casio player of the game tonight. Is there any doubt that it's Peter Tom Willis? Look at those numbers. 17 of 20 and we were we were discussing what the possibility was of him playing well tonight that's 85 percent partner that's not bad 